Annyeong again, and guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Wooting ADHD video. This video is going to be just on pure Gateron Jade Max with the 60 HE. So we'll do like an unboxing, take a look, see what the switches are like, and see how it sounds like in the 60 compared to the other switches. Because I think the 80, 60, they're very different, and it's going to sound different. So let's get straight into the video, and I hope you guys like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. So I want to start with the unboxing because if you notice this box right now, this is the Magnetic Jade Switch Pro box. Yet, this is actually not the Jade Pro. This is the Max. So, Gateron didn't actually have enough boxes. It seems they didn't have a box prepared, and they've been using the Jade Pro box. So, if you get one that says Jade Pro on the box, don't worry. Just check inside to make sure it's the Max. Now, this is a switch which is transparent. It actually reminds me a lot of the Gateron North Pole switch. But, we're going to do it all with the 60 this time. And then I'm also going to do one thing, which is the LED RGB with the ADHE and give you a single switch sound test. So I was actually able to find the photo with the materials for the Gadron Jade Max. We see it here on screen. These are very expensive switches for the price. I don't know if they're very, very worth it. It does feel a bit cheap. I'm going to be honest with you. The material does feel thin, but otherwise it is transparent. It is quite nice. Let's do a sound test for everything.
So for those that missed my Wooting ADHD video, I actually added the STEM model test in here as well. So as you can see, this is a Lecker V2, the L60. There is some STEM model, of course, like I said before, there is still going to be some STEM model. They made it better, but it's still not perfected. You will see on the top, there is going to be some horizontal vertical wobble. And then once it's pressed down as well, you'll see significantly more compared to the top sorry that the camera was actually shaking there for a bit but when it goes down as you can see there is going to be some stem wobble um, it's better than before and honestly when you're actually using the switches it's not too bad but it is still there now this is the Wuchi studio dash which is just a recolor of the jades i'd use this specifically because i want to just make a difference between the jade pro Definitely much less than mobile compared to the Lekkers. Um, it is nice. Just the thing is, is like it's a different sound profile. So you're going to get a little bit of a higher profile sound compared to the Lekkers. Um, but it does have very little stem mobile. I mean, I think this was done very well compared to the Lekkers. So when you go on to the Jade Pros, it's actually very similar. I think pretty much, except for uh, some of the materials that were used, um, I think the Jade Pros are pretty much very identical to the Jades. But in terms of like the sound base, uh, it is similar, just I think a little bit quieter, uh, which I do prefer. I think the Jade Pros are just a little bit nicer and it feels a little bit smoother than the Dash or Jades. The Jade Pros, yeah, I would say they, they did a pretty good job with this one. Um, but as we are going to go into the RGB as well, like I'm going to show you the actual backlighting of each switch. Um, you will see that there is some it, things that are going to come with it because of the color of the switch housing. Now, this is the Gion Raw. They did a really great job with uh, how smooth the switch feels. The stem mobile is there slightly, definitely way better than the Leckers, but I would say it just has a quite high sound profile now this is the black knights they are very very great you're gonna get like no stem mobile because they're box stems right but as you'll see soon it's gonna have like no backlighting now this is a new Gadron max and i think that this is a quite interesting switch but there are some issues with it specifically with the stem uh not much stem mobile but it's actually quite similar to the jades like the pro n dash nothing really too crazy special or like fixed with this now as promised from the comments from my adhd video i wanted to give you guys a backlighting showing how it works with each switch now each switch does it pretty well except for the black knight as you can see it's a black housing it's not gonna get a lot of light going through it and it doesn't have like a nice light diffuser that will let a light go through it so this is right now when the switches don't have any keycaps on i've actually changed the color so you can see specifically with them and then now i'm going to put the keycaps on so you guys can actually see what they'll look like with keycaps and i'm also going to actually dim the lights as well so that you can see it much more clear so now that we have the lights more dimmed we can see from left to right right so the left was the liquors and then it went to the Black Knight, and then the Raw, and then the Jades. Now, as you can see already, the Jade Pro has a very, very green profile with these yellow lights. So I chose yellow so that you can see it a little bit more clear compared to say like a blue. The Jade Pros have a green back lighting that comes from it. Uh, the dash is slightly, not fully different, but it still has a slight, slight difference in color. I'm going to actually turn off all the lights so I can make it a little bit more clear. So now with all the lights off, I'm going to give you guys the difference between the brightness. Because the ADHD, when you're using tachyon mode, it will change in brightness. You only get 70%. And then without the tachyon mode, which is going to be like the 8K, you're going to get uh, able to put it all the way to 100%. So this is the lighting. I think like the max, of course, is going to have the best. Like You can see it actually shining through. Um, while the 
Others do pretty well. Uh, the Knight's not so great. J Pro's different color profile. Uh, J as well, like the dashes as well, slightly different. And I would say Lekkers do a good job, as such as the Geon Raw. So I'm just going to change the colors to white, and you guys will kind of see a little bit more. The color profile might be a little bit different in your guys' eyes or how it shows in the camera, but I did change it to the white light. Now I'm going to also give you guys a switch sound test with one individual key. So I hope that sound test really helps someone be able to choose which switch would work for them. Like these are the most popular ones. I know that there's also like the Sticky Rice and the TTC Magneto. I will look into getting them. Um, it's just right now I'm currently low on budget to do so. Uh, hopefully I can make more money to be able to do so. Uh, but for now it, it, it is something that's on my list that I'll definitely do. Now as you could heard, that is with the Maxes. Now, the Gatorade Max is a decent switch. Uh, I think it sounds good. I think, honestly, I like it the most in my 60 compared to my 80. I'm not a big fan of it in my 80. Now, this was an issue that I noticed with the Max, is that it can get stuck on your keycap. This is kind of a big flaw I noticed with these switches, is I'm a person that has to switch my switches often. Now, as a person that has to, it's kind of tough because I have to remove it all the time and then it gets stuck and it's going to just pop right out, um, which is not so great. And I'm not a big fan of that, especially when I'm paying that much for these switches because these are expensive switches. Compared to the rest of them, the Maxes are the most expensive switches. Now, in terms of a deeper profile, I would say these are the four switches that have a more of a deeper sounding profile. It's going to be the Leckers, Max, and the Black Knight. The Gion Raw, I think, is the smoothest out of all of them. So out of all the switches, if you're looking for something just pure smooth, sounds pretty good, the Gion Raws will do you well. And I would say also backlighting is good on them. Now, the Jade Pro and the Dash slash Jades are, the, for those that like a higher sound profile, and if you're slightly looking for like a more muted sound, like I would say less loud, the Jade Pros would do it better. Uh, it feels smooth as well. There is very well done and not too much stem wobble. I'd say these are two of the ones that you could use that are pretty good. Now the Black Knights, if you're looking for something deep sounding, these would work. But again, no backlighting. You're, you're not. You're gonna have to deal with no backlighting for those. I would say 
ones I'm going for and the ones that I would probably choose myself are going to be either the Lekkers. And I'm probably going to stick with the Lekkers, I'm going to be honest with you, with my ADHE. Uh, the Geon Raws are really good too. I do like them. The Maxes, I do like the sound of them on the 60. Like compared to other ones, uh, the Maxes were pretty interesting to use on a 60 specifically. But again, there is that keycap issue. So it's a little bit tough. Uh, I, you are someone that wants to change out keycaps often, but I honestly think the majority of people won't be doing that. So it does work, but these are my opinions. Like again, everyone's going to have a different perspective. So go with what you think works best for you. Uh, whether it's going to be the Lekkers, the Geon, the Max, the Jade Pros, whichever works for you. But I hope this video helped and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Which is your favorite switch? All right, like I, I think in my 60, I'm going to stick with the Max. And then in my 80 HE, I'm probably going to stick with just the Lekker V2. Now, that's just because I like the sound of the V2s in my Wooting 80. I might stick with the 45s just because I find lighter switches just a bit better for me. Uh, and it does sound a little bit different than them, but you can catch that video in there. Um, for the 60, the Jade Max really works well, especially if I'm not going to be replacing the keycaps often. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. And if there's any other new Hall Effect switches that I should be aware of, please let me know. I'll take a look into them, do sound tests with both the 80 and then the 60. They're always going to be separate videos because they're very different in terms of sound. So we'll keep 60 with 60, 80 and 80. So please let me know and check out the other videos that I got. And I just thank you guys for always supporting this channel. I'm really, really glad and happy that I can do this. So I'll catch you guys next time, and thank you.